Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What types of court records are available through the KC Script Portal? The KC Script Portal, managed by the King County Superior Court Clerk's Office, provides access to a variety of court records. Here's what you can expect to find. Case number and participant name. Search. You can search for case information using the case number or participant names. This functionality is available without the need to create an account. Case docket information. You can view case docket information, including court dates, without creating an account. This information is accessible through the Events tab on the portal. Document Requests To request a copy of a court document, you must be logged in to your portal account. You can search for the case number, select the documents you need, and choose the delivery method and copy type. You can also request documents from multiple cases in a single order. Sealed and Confidential Records Access to sealed or confidential records is restricted and requires verification of your identity. You can submit a records request through the portal and follow the instructions provided by the clerk's office to access these records virtually or in person. Historical records. For cases prior to 1979, there are limited microfiche records available online, but additional microfiche records can be accessed at the King County Superior Court Clerk's Office in Seattle. New Case and Judgments Audit Reports. You can purchase new case and judgments audit reports for $5 per report per day through the KC Script Portal or in person at any of the clerk's office locations. Specific data requests. If you need specific data from the clerk's office case management system, you can submit a data dissemination request form. This form can be sent via mail or email and you will be contacted with the feasibility of your request. Payment and filing information. The portal also allows you to pay online and provides instructions for filing new cases, including the required documents and filing fees. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.